G'day guys, my name is Trent, aka Laxline, bringing you a PGL battle. This time we're up against C, um, who is the head coach of the New York Clinks. His link will be in the description below, as it usually is. Um, I apologise about the noise outside. Uh, it is storming here, but I don't have enough time to record, so I'm just going to record through the storm. So if there's any loud crashes, it is the storm. I'm not, like, partying or anything here. Um, basically, he's actually got a pretty tough team. Um, Skarmory, Blissey, and... Um, that blue thing, it starts with an S, I've totally forgotten its name, um, it, wow, it's, it's gone, but, yeah, his core is, um, is, it's definitely one that's hard to beat, so I had to play around pretty, pretty hard to actually, like, build a team around it, I think I did a really good job, um, the team I built, I think works, uh, and it, like, I, I was pretty confident with it, like, it, it was hard to build for, but I think I was pretty confident with it. And, you know, this was actually a really good battle. I played really well. Um, um, uh, C was definitely, definitely keen to beat me, too. Um, I did defeat him in the last season, um, so he was definitely keen to beat me. Um, and he's got a really good team. I would say he's probably got the best draft, um, just because he's got some really cool mons. Um, He's got some really cool mons, and he, he drafted really, really well. Um, it, yeah, um, basically, when I was building for this team, I saw that as Selgor, and I just was really, really frightened. Um, it can actually rip through my team uh, completely, do a number on it. So I've got to be really, really, really careful about that. Um, and it really depends on what item it's holding as to how well I could potentially do. So I'm pretty much running a... Um, just a fairly offensive team with some bulk in um, Rotom, Shaman, and um, UT. Um, I have do have a Tailwind support um, with uh, Sylveon because uh, with a certain amount of EV invested in Sylveon to be able to actually outspeed any of these team, including the Asalgor, because the Hyper Voice will be a one-hit KO. Uh, but there, uh, yeah. But well, you know what? We'll just get straight in the battle and see how we go. So C actually decides to lead off with his Weavile as I just go straight out to the Rotom. Um, Rotom was a pretty safe start, uh, it's defensive, it can take pretty much most of the hits that anything's going to go for. And um, you know, either like status or Volt Switch out or something. Um, I am running Will-O-Wisp and Thunder Wave on this one just only because I'm just trying to block, you know, being messed up. Um, just yeah, like he's got a lot of walls so I just wanted to try to get as much status as I can. Um, I just go for the Hydro Pump, and that really doesn't do too much, um, so I would say this was an EVL light um, Sneasel. Like, you know what, it, it's actually really funny, um, a lot of the the lower ranked Pokemon that were were um, drafted, I see as a lot more threatening than some of the other ones. The other ones are very established with checks and counters and everything, but I find that the lower ranked ones, they're such a vast majority that they, they sort of can be very unpredictable, so you got to be really, really careful about it. Or well, I've been really, really careful about it. Exactly like this Asalgar, you can actually just tear through a lot of teams, um, and not many people expect it because it's so fast and it actually hits really, really hard. Um, expecting that the energy ball was coming, I decided to switch out into Uxie. That was a crit as well, and it does absolutely no damage whatsoever. So he's going to switch out, and he can just go into um, Suicune. Um, I, like, Suicune is super annoying, but it gives me an opportunity to set up some screens. Um, he is actually just running the um, Carmine Suicune, which is super annoying. However, I'm not really that too concerned about it, mainly because I've still got Shaman, and I also built the um, Caldeo to... Uh, to pretty much um, be able to set up on it and sort of wall it out. So I'm going to actually switch out to Shaman. This is only really just for some um, sort of pressure to switch him out because he's not going to want to stick around. Like a Seed Flare or whatever I decide to go for is actually going to do a lot of damage. This is actually defensive, so it actually really couldn't really, like it couldn't touch it really. Like it wouldn't have done too much damage. Um, I just go for the Giga Drain, safe play. It's a little bit early to make risky, risky moves at this point. Um, he's... Blissey's just sitting there, annoying as all Blissey's are. Um, I decided to take the switch out here, and I can actually just go into Metagross. I can get the Mega Evolution off and sort of start, you know. I don't have any um, setup moves, but it gives you a good opportunity to be able to set this thing, send this thing up um, 
send this thing out and start getting it getting it going. Uh, Metacross actually works really well in a league format because it gets a lot of coverage moves. Um, unfortunately, I didn't actually pack coverage moves for Skarmory because I've got coverage moves on other mons for Skarmory. Um, I do have the Ice Punch, but like it doesn't do too much. Um, maybe I should have. I don't know. Does it get Fire Punch? I'm not sure. Um, but I decided to switch out there. He's going to be really, really useful later. I do have a um, Reflect Up, so I can pretty much bring in Sylveon. Um, I'm hoping that he will think there's Hidden Power Fire, so I can sort of just threaten him out. My sort of my sort of plan here was to go for the Psy Shock and then um, hope that he comes in with Blissey, but he ends up going into Suicune, which is which is probably a better play because of the um, the Hidden Power Fire. So Psy Shock doesn't really do too much, but even if I went for the Hyper Voice. It would have only done probably 50% more than that, so it wouldn't really matter in the long run. Um, I'm going to get out of there because I'm locked in because I am Specs, and I will just go out into Caldeo because, as I said before, Caldeo was built to be able to just sort of wall out the, um, the Suicune and sort of set up on it. Caldeo with one Calm Mind Up can actually pretty much two-hit KO or Oko, anything on his team. So it's actually really, really a big threat. Um, so I decided to go for the Car Mind, expecting he'd probably go for the Car Mind as well. Thankfully, I didn't get burnt by that skull because if I got burnt by that skull, I would have cried a little bit inside. Um, and then I also run Toxic on this um, Caldeo because if I go for the Toxic, um, he can't sort of sit and, and just keep on Car Minding up on me. Um, Sacred Sword also hits on the physical side, so even if he does Car Mind too much, like it's it's not really going to bother me because Caldeo is going to be able to do, as I said, a, a two-hit KO to this thing at least. Um, and then, yeah, so that's pretty much what I, what I, what the plan was. Um, he's toxic, can't stick around. I'm just going to go a bit more offensive now and start, um, sort of trying to, trying to get through his team. Um, however, the Electivire is sitting in the back and it's probably Scarfed, um, because that's what you do for an Electivire, uh, especially when there's Caldeo on the team. Um, so I'm not going to survive a wild charge, so I'll have to switch out, um, uh, as as he will bring in the um, Electivire, um, he decides to stay in on this turn. I didn't ex I didn't think he was going to. I thought he was actually going to switch out and use a rest later on. But um, he ends up staying in, and he is not going to survive this. So I am fairly happy about that situation. Um, so Suicune is down, um, and then he will actually just so switch straight into the uh, Electivire at this point. So I can't stick around because Electivire is going to go for the Wild Charge and that is going to hurt. So I decided to switch into Shaman because Shaman can pretty much just eat up anything that this thing goes for. Even an Ice Punch doesn't do too much damage to this. Um, but he does go for the Wild Charge, the Wild Charge, um, and then he decides to switch out. So that pretty much tells me that he is Garfed or some sort of choice in some way. So that's kind of a little bit scary. Um, but I do go for the Hidden Power Rock on this. Um, I actually built this... Shaman as a a sort of to be able to deal with his Talonflame. Um, Talonflame is on his team. He didn't bring it, thank God, because Talonflame is super annoying. But um, the Shaman was able. I pretty much built the Shaman to be able to survive a Flare Blitz or a Brave Bird from from Talonflame, and then Oko with a Hidden Power Rock, which is super risky. But um, I sort of thought. You know, if I have to sacrifice one Mon to get rid of Talonflame, then at least it's one Mon not sacrificed, not six Mons. Um, he does switch into Blissey here as I just decide to set up my screens. Um, he's going to end up going for the Toxic and um, Toxing in Uxie. After I go sort of get up the screens and the rocks, I, like, I'm, I'm sort of okay for Uxie to go down. Um, but the, the thing that sort of um, concerned me was how quickly he switched out um, his Blissey and went into Skarmory. Uh, that's mainly because... He's switching it out and he's going to go straight for the defog um, and that made me really really nervous because then I thought um, he would end up uh, like the Aselgor could be focus sash which could be a massive problem. Um, I sort of made misjudgments here, um, went for the stealth rocks thinking that I would be slower but I ended up being faster because uh, I thought I was running a negative speed but turns out I wasn't and I wouldn't have been anyway so yeah. Bit stupid. Um, I kind of expected him to go for the defog again on this turn, so I didn't want to race the the turn, and I decided to go for the light screen. Um, but he ended up going for Bruce, so I wish I did go for the stealth rocks. But you know, you know, you can't win them all. Um, you know, you overpredict sometimes. 
Um, so Yuxi ends up going down to the Toxic on that turn, and I can just go into Rotom here. Um, it's going to threaten out the Skarmory, um, and then he will switch into the Electivite, thinking that I'm probably going to go for a um, Electric move, but I wasn't going to be that silly. Um, I just decided to go for the, the Will-O-Wisp here. Uh, Electrify Burnt does help a hell of a lot, because it can be... You know, it, it can be, uh, actually, it's got a huge base attack, and I had an Electivire drafted at one point, and it actually, its coverage does really, really well in a league format, because uh, it's got a lot of, and I was actually looking at drafting it, but he, he actually beat me to it. Um, yeah, I just go for the Hydro Prime, trying to get some damage off on whatever I can, and the Blissey comes in, it does nothing. Um, I think Leftovers restored him pretty much back to full, so, yeah, that was disappointing. I do carry the Pack of Thunder Wave. Um, I did go for the Thunder Wave. I know it's probably got, is it got a natural cure, but my pretty much my plan was if I Thunder Wave it, it can't probably soft boil on me as much. But he ends up hacking the Aromatherapy anyway, so that's sort of a little bit disappointing. It was a bit of a waste of turn, but it, you know what? I couldn't have got any damage off on it anyway, because Rotom does actually nothing to, uh, to, uh, what's it called? Blissey. Um, good chance to bring in Metagross here, um, as he, he pulls the switch as well and goes into Electivire. Um, I still had the Reflect up at this stage, so a Earthquake doesn't, it won't kill me, it should only do like 20%, but he ends up getting crit, um, super disappointing, as I just go for the Medium Ash, um, he ends up living on like, I don't know, 1 HP, um, however I do have the Bullet Punch, so I can just Bullet Punch him and, and take him out. Um, unfortunately he's going to switch into his Skarmory, and because he does have those rocks up, um, if I switch Metagross back in. It's, it, it's a dead Metagross because I'm on no HP whatsoever. So I just decided to get some damage off at least to to dwindle him down a little bit. Um, I know that if I get him to sort of a certain point... Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Um, again, a certain point I know that I can Oko him with a... Um, I believe it was a the Hidden Power Fire, but he had to be at like 80%. Um, I do go for the Surf here. Uh, it does nothing to Blissey. Um, at this point, I can pretty much just keep on clicking the Secret Sword because Secret Sword will it will still be a two-hit KO on the Skarmory um, at that range. And um, even if he switches in Blissey, Blissey will it's definitely like it does it's definitely going to kill. So <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't really bother me. Um, I end up going for the Surf on this turn. I don't know, even though I just said that it would killed anyway, I think I just over, it was like, oh, maybe it won't. Um, so yeah, he can bring back Blissey, Blissey ain't going to survive in the next attack, he's going down. So Caldeo puts in some work, um, I always pick Caldeo, I really like Caldeo in a league format, it, it's just super powerful, um, and it does, like I know it's very limited with a lot of attacks, but I just find it really, really powerful. So this Algo comes in, and uh, I knew I was sort of in a point where I was probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, what I ended up doing here is I actually went into Shaman, thinking that I can probably survive the next Bug Buzz. Um, I did a quick calc at this point, and it ended up being... Um, he definitely got like the highest of high rolls at that point, so I was super disappointed. Because basically the plan was to go for the, uh, the Tailwind. Uh, I went for Tailwind on that turn. So I would have went for the Tailwind and then went for the, the Hyper Voice because I would have survived the Bug Buzz and then um, this would have, would have, I assumed, killed it. But he ended up having the Focus Sash and I totally forgot that this thing actually has Unburden. So yeah, the um, he would have ended up winning anyway. He does get a crit on that turn. In the long run, I don't think it mattered. I think he would have won anyway. So I end up going to the Rotom and Rotom is just going to have to take the Energy Ball and go down. So. Aselga putting in work. Um, you know, I knew it was going to put in some work, and I saw it coming. But uh, it was it was a fantastic battle. It really, really was. Um, and it, you know, one zero. I don't mind losing. Um, I don't mind losing if it's a good battle. I and it was it was fair and played well. But if I lose because you know something stupid, then it's a little bit more. So you know, see, really, congratulations, mate, for taking me out. Um, probably felt good. <laughs> Uh, but it was, yeah, it was a really good battle. I really enjoyed it. Um, your team's good, and uh, it was kind of scary to build for. But, um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, you know, stick around. Um, but uh, I'll leave it there, guys, and I will catch you next time.